Hey, it's Bobby, and I have a golf lesson for you today that I know is going to help some of you, especially Jim from North Dakota. He sent me an email last night, and he said, Bobby, I really struggle with pushing the golf ball. Now, he went on to tell me his own individual thoughts. I'm not going to share those with you, but I'm going to explain a push to you. And when I'm finished, I know that this is going to help you stop the golf ball from going right. So let's first talk about what a push is. A push is a shot that is hit to the right. It doesn't curve to the right. It just goes right and stays right. So there's a couple good things about a push. First of all, the club face is square. Unfortunately, what happens is that the golf club got way too much inside in the downswing. And after impact, it kept going way off to the right in the downswing, in the follow through. I'll hit one. I don't know if you can see or not, but watch this. I'm right down the line. My aim is right where I'm pointing. But if I get too much underneath and inside, watch what happens with the golf ball. Now there's a push. Now there's a couple of other reasons why I made a full swing with it. I wanted you to see the shape of my arms after impact. Now let's talk about how we can fix it. A push means that when you came back down into the golf ball that you were probably on the correct arc on the inside but pay close attention to my left hip so if I swing it a little too much underneath me and get it inside sometimes my left hip will get way too long in the downswing this would be the correct move of a left hip one or two inches this way and then turn out of the way but if it gets long watch what happens it throws a block into the handle and when it does the golf club starts to follow it and when that happens you're heading off to the right and it's not coming back you've also blocked this left hand from crossing over now my mistake has always been when I make a mistake on the golf course I get it long here but I know I'm gonna block it so I get quick with it so this is the same mistake for those of you that can turn around and hit a big old hook you block one shot and on the next shot, you're long in the left side and you flick it over. Now, how do we correct it? Let's first correct the left hip. When you swing the golf club down, the left hip goes one or two inches and then it has to get out of the way. That's how to fix the body part of the mistake. Now, let's talk about the mistake of the arms and hands. Here's the greatest little exercise drill that I've had the most success with over the years. When people push the ball, I always say to them, well, you keep hitting it to the right fielder. Why don't you hit one to the left fielder? So or here's another way to say it. You keep filling up the bunkers on the right of the green. Why don't you release it and hit one into the bunker on the left of the green? So watch the shape of my arms and hands on this swing. Same backswing, same downswing. Gonna clear my left side, but watch this. When I make contact with the golf ball, I want my arms and hands to cross over. I'll do it in front of you so you can see it face on. When I come back into the bottom, bottom end of the golf ball, I want my arms and hands to cross over. I'll do it face on this way so you can see. This is a block and a push. That's what a push looks like at the bottom at impact. But if you cross over, you'll be able to bring the golf ball back around. Let's try it. I'm aiming in the same direction I was talking to you about, but I'm going to do one other thing this time. When I come down, I'm going to clear the left side and I'm going to cross my arms and hands. Let's see what happens. And that's how you straighten out a push. A push is too much for me. Hey, here's another thing. Sometimes a push feels a little thin and weak. The reason is, is because again, you held on, you didn't let the golf club go all the way to the floor but most importantly, you didn't let the toe cross over the heel on its way back around to the arc on the other side of the golf ball. Try that and make sure you contact me. You can go to Bobby Eldridge Golf.